This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome back. So now here in this session, I'm going to start a topic called customer down payment. Guys, if we talk about the logic and configurations, this is quite similar to the vendor down payment. And almost if you talk about the configuration step, that is also quite similar to uh, vendor down payment itself. The only difference is there we have done setting for the vendor and this time we are going to do settings for the customers, right? So your down payment means what guys? Let's suppose if you have to if, during sales and all like customer is quite new uh, in that case, what is happening? The companies, let's suppose Tata Motor is going to put some conditions that okay, the delivery is going to be made only if you make 30% or 40% or 20% down payment, then only we are going to deliver you the goods. So in that case, what is happening? Customer is going to make a down payment. Customer is going to make payment. And so how this down payment is going to be posted into SAP? Because down payment is uh, different and normal payment is different. Now, down payment we cannot treat as a normal payment, right? So what are the settings required for this one? That I'll show you. So look at here now, if you talk about the configuration steps, look at here. Now customer down payment means advance received from customer. This one I have already explained guys, right? Now, if you talk about the configuration steps, look at your pre down payment reconciliation account. Now, uh, I think uh, the fourth time we are discussing and I'm explaining this reconciliation accounts. So this time I think you should be very much familiar with this reconciliation account guys. It is nothing but a ZL account, right? And hope you guys are able to remember the reconciliation account. I have already explained the logic behind creation of reconciliation account multiple topics multiple tutorials are there where like people are going to explain uh, the logics and all but most of you are unable to understand like why we set up reconciliation account the very pretty basic logic is there to setting up this reconciliation account right i'll explain once again here so that you guys will be happy so now if you talk about uh, let's suppose we are having multiple customers these all are the customers okay these are the customers I'm writing in shortcut here. These are the customers against every customers. We are going to post certain Amount in the sense this is called invoice amount. So certain invoices will be there Okay So we have the invoice we have posted now, if you have to find out what is the total receivable, because these are the invoice which is posted, it means this much worth of goods has been delivered to the customer, but the payment is not received yet. Still, we are waiting for the payment from customer, right? So, whatever the sales has been made, and the payment like the payment is yet to be made by customer, it means payment is yet to be received by Tata Motor. So, these all like outstanding, outstanding payment is called receivables this is our receivable it means this much amount we are supposed to receive in future and this is our assets right so now if you have to calculate what is our total receivable guys so here you have to consolidate when customer number like customer a customer b customer c customer d so one by one you have to take out all the customer balances and then you need to consolidate here manually and then you will come to know that we are having 32k this is our total receivable instead of that we are having a very simple uh, what to say formula guys it's very simple formula means SAP is saying that no if you are going to consolidate manually it may take lots of time because thousands of customers are there several thousand customers are there in that case if you start consolidations one by one it may take lots of time right so instead of doing that you create a GL account that is called recon, recon account you create a recon account it's nothing but a GL account right so SAP is saying that you create a recon account. Let's suppose any recon account, guys. So here I have created, let's suppose the recon account number 1005. This is a GL account, right? And you need to assign this recon account against the customer master. Whichever the customers we are going to set up. In customer master A, I have given 1005. This this GL number, right? In B, C, D, like that, in every customer master, we are going to give this reconciliation account, right? So now what is the benefit, guys? So whatever transactions are getting posted against this customer master, this customer master, the same transaction is getting posted against this GL account also because inside of this customer, we have assigned this GL account. 
again this 5000 4000 6000 3000 these all amounts are going to be posted to the respective customers but at the same time in background these amounts are getting posted against this real account also 1005 so instead of checking customer to get the consolidated figure instead of checking customer balances one by one and then you are going to add these amounts and all so instead of checking customer balance directly we are going to check the gl balance itself and you will come to know this is what your total receivable this is what the logic behind creation of reconciliation account with the help of reconciliation account what is happening guys whatever is uh, receivable and payables are there right so you can get a consolidated figure of total receivables and payable right this is what the logic and this is what the simplest definitions which you have to quote during interview if somebody is going to ask right or else if any we are unable to quote the uh, what do you say uh, definitions also guys the simplest way is just quote an example because with the help of example you can say that yes you are having a perfect understanding now what next so next one is let's suppose there are certain customers from where data mode is saying that you must have to make down payment okay so down payment means let's suppose this customer has made a down payment of 2000 this customer is again with 2500 this customer has made a down payment of 1500 50% here again like let's suppose 2000 here again certain amount or is here like let's suppose 1000 so these are the down payment we have received down payment doesn't mean that every customer is going to make down payment guys some customers are going to make down payment okay and it it's depends upon like uh, see the customers are also having certain ratings okay the customers will have certain rating guys now uh there will be a credit management will be uh, again you can see uh, you can I, i'll tell you guys there will be credit management is again separate module you can say guys it's it's like a very huge thing is there generally it is coming under uh, you know sd side and all but still credit management means there are multiple things are there <coughs> related to the customers so every customers will be like uh, there they are going to define like whether it is like high risk customer low risk customer medium risk customer right low risk customer means the customer which is with them they are doing business for last five years ten years and this customer is like doing uh, very well there won't be like whatever the outstanding invoices are there the payment is going to be made by customer on time right there is very less number of disputes are there this is low risk customer medium risk customer means sometime what is happening customer is making payment on time sometime some dispute will take place sometime customer is making delay so like that and high risk customer means like let's suppose uh, the behavior is not good behavior means like the goods are sold and the payment is going to be made like if the invoices become due now the payment is going to be made after two months after three months after four months right so in that case that is high risk customer and apart from this let's suppose if any new customer is also there so that is also we, we don't know there is no any rating about that customer we don't know like what kind of customer it is and what kind of you know things they are going to do so for such kind of customer what is happening guys the companies are going to put some conditions okay i'll sell you the goods only if you're going to make a payment of like i i want like 50 percent uh payment in the form of down payment then only we are going to deliver you the, deliver you the goods right so now here so that's what i said every customer is not going to make down payment now here so let's suppose this is the down payment which we have received right so what is the total down payment we have received guys down payment also you cannot check customer wise one by one so for down payment what is happening guys we are going to create another down payment a recon account okay this is called special gl account also and this is another gl and this is going to be so this is going to be and this reconciliation account is going to be assigned against customer master this is going to be assigned against customer master but this down payment reconciliation account cannot assign against customer master guys because you have only you can assign only one reconciliation account against your customer master right so in that case down payment reconciliation account is going to be linked with this customer reconciliation account which we have created earlier earlier right now so here 
whenever down payment whenever the invoices are going to be posted guys this invoice amount is getting posted against this reconciliation account okay and when down payment is getting posted automatically system is going to trigger this reconciliation account now the question is how so that is going to explain the same logic is there guys the logic which i have explained in account payable the same logic is there in account receivable also okay here also we are having special yield indicator will come into picture special yield indicator is going to come into picture we'll see it guys practically don't worry so now okay so what i said why we require this down payment reconciliation account because you need to know the total down payment so total down payment is 9k right so instead of calculating here one by one we are going to check this real balance itself and we will come to and you came to know that total down payment is 9k so now here if we have to calculate the actual what is our actual receivable guys so what is your actual receivable so actual receivable means this is the total receivable right and out of which 9k we have already received right so how much we are going to receive so we are going to receive only 23k this is how you will come to the actual receivables right so even down payment also supposed to be calculated separately and as i told you guys there is a use of this reconciliation account generally uh, there will be a topic which is going to be covered in future in the sense like not in future in the sense upcoming sessions you'll be having you'll be uh, in upcoming sessions there will be a topic called uh, financial statement version right so in financial statement version uh, what is happening guys whatever the financial statement version is the combinations of your balance sheet and profit and loss statement right so in financial statement version what is happening guys we are going to assign all the gl accounts and from gl account system is going to derive the balances automatically okay so generally in financial statement version if you have to like let's suppose if we have to calculate total payable or total receivable in that case we cannot assign the customer accounts over there or else if 1000 customer account is there or 5000 or 10000 customer accounts are there if you want to assign those customer accounts to the financial statement version it is it is going to be very bulky right so instead of that we are going to assign this reconciliation gl and from there itself system will come to know okay this is the total receivable but even this gl account is also going to be assigned over there so out of 23 32k 9k we have already received isn't it so that i'll show you guys later once i set up the financial statement version so now what is happening this is what the logic behind creation of reconciliation account guys and link this down payment reconciliation account with customer reconciliation account I told you guys that this is not going to assign against customer master directly. So we have to link this reconciliation account with your customer reconciliation account. So first of all, let me do one thing guys. First of all, I'll have to set up this reconciliation account. Use transaction code FS00 and it is gone. So I'll have to log in once again. This is what the problem in online server guys. If you don't, uh, what to say, uh, do any activity for five ten minutes then automatically it is going to log out so i will just do one thing i'll log it log in again so here fs double zero hope now you guys are able to remember this transaction code because every time we are coming to fs double zero so that's what i said there are several transaction code guys which will be there at the tip of your tongue because multiple time we are going to use that transaction code several time you guys are going to visit that screen so it is going to be quite familiar you guys are going to be quite familiar with this screens and all right now so we have to set up down payment reconciliation account so guys whatever down payment we have re received that is going to be part of your liability okay that payment you have received but nothing we have sent to the customer right so this is not our income this is not our revenue this is not our assets this is your liability create here click on create button and i'm going to create 2001 and here this is your liability so select liability and i'll type here customer down payment 
and this is going to be set up click on back button select balance sheet account this is going to be set up against here this is your reconciliation account you have to select customer if you don't select this reconciliation account then this is going to be treated as a normal gl account guys okay so you have to select this reconciliation and here you need to give g067 okay press enter and save it so now look at here we have created now so now the customer down payment is created now here what next so the next one is link down payment reconciliation account with customer account obxr is the transaction code so i'll just do one thing i'll go to obxr here obxr and you need to double click on down payment special deal indicator a and give your chart of account guys and press enter here so what is the reconciliation account guys normal reconciliation account let's suppose if you forgotten then your special deal account means for the newly created reconciliation account that is 2001 right and what is your normal reconciliation account which you have assigned with the vendor master click on this drop down and uh, what to say here you give your chart of account and press enter so account receivable where is this 1005 okay and save it so here we have done with the assignment part what next the next one is transaction posting suppose the customer down payment first of all we have to make the down payment guys then only uh what do you say the goods are going to be delivered by Tata Motor. In the sense, first of all, customer is going to make down payment, then the goods are going to be delivered by organizations and along with that invoices is going to be also sent. So F-29, now I'm going to use here F-29. Give a date here and give your customer account so what is the customer account guys one double zero two three two special deal indicator always you have to give whenever you're going to post a down payment and if you don't give then system will not allow you to proceed further you must have to give and then down payment is going to be okay so here whenever we are this is down payment means we are going to receive this down payment right from customer so which one which, which which bank account it is going to be posted that bank jail you need to give here and how much amount we are going to receive guys so whatever amount you're going to receive that amount you need to give and press enter here and here once again 500 right or else you can give star and here you can Customer down payment, and you can if you want to see the accounting, you can simulate. Look at here, so your customer account is going to be credited, and your HDFC bank account is going to be debited because amount is coming to the bank account, right? So bank account is going to be debited, and your customer account is going to be credited, stable, posted, control us. So now what is done, guys? We have posted a down payment. What next? The next one is you have to post the invoice, right? So you just do one thing slash and FBL 5N. Let me check. Even without giving customer number, also you can execute if you're having single customer master. If you're having multiple customer master, then you must have to give the customer account number, or your system is going to show the balances of all the master records. Click on execute here. There is no open item, it means we have to post the invoice you have to post the invoice guys how to post the invoice pretty simple fb70 is the transaction code previous session itself we have posted the transaction right go to fb70 this is your customer and invoice we have received let's suppose one of thousand or else let's suppose 1200 
and give your real amount sales revenue and here also 1200 press enter and look at here a notification message this is just an information okay that 500 down payment is also there just press enter and press enter <coughs> now save it control s now so document was posted here invoice was posted now what will happen guys so if you have a look here so now how much 1200 system is going to show 1200 now here overall like this is the line item for invoices like every invoice if you are having five line item then here 12 1200 1000 5000 like that and this is the overall balance total balance for this customer and here is the total balance for all the customers if we are having 100 customers so overall balance of 100 customers right and here you will be having not 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 like that here guys this is for a particular customers here you will be having here you'll be having like overall balance in the sense for all the customers okay now anyway so i come back here now 1200 1200 is how we'll do one thing so here click on special deal indicator special deal transactions because uh whatever down payment we have posted this is not a normal transaction guys this is special transactions uh posted against a special deal indicator so click on execute then this is going to be uh okay so here how much payment we are supposed to receive guys 700 only so we'll do one thing now we are going to post the payment so if you post the payment okay and how if you check this 500 double click on this 500 okay so this is posted against the zeal number 2001 right 2001 is the zeal account which i have created for the down payment reconciliation account right for down payment reconciliation reconciliation account what i have recorded sorry what i have created that zeal number 2001 i have created Now, and how system is going to trigger this real account, guys? So, as I showed you, whenever, see, whenever you are going to post a down payment, down payment is going to be posted against special GL indicator A, right? And against special GL indicator A, what we have given, guys, what we have done, we have assigned the down payment reconciliation account and that too against the normal reconciliation account, right? So, how system is going to trigger the normal reconciliation account? because down payment is going to be posted against the customer master right so from customer master system is going to trigger that normal reconciliation account now here the down payment got posted it's time to post the payment f-28 so in f-28 you have to do one thing in MS 28, you need to give your bank account. Okay, remaining 700 also we are supposed to receive from customer. And how much we are going to receive, guys? 700. Or else, if you don't know, then you can give one rupees only, or whatever your amount is there in that currency, you can give your value that is one. And why one? So, in account payable, I have already told you, right? So, you can watch that video if still if you are having any confusion. Let's suppose if you're having multiple invoices, right? In that case, we can give one and then you can check like what is the total overall outstanding amount is there. So from there you can change the amount, right? And here, that for that you can watch the account payable video. Now here you need to give customer account. So this is our customer account. And if you press enter, then look at here 700 I have given, but 1200 WhatsApp invoice is being shown by system. Why? Because 500 down payment which we have received, that is not that is not coming here, right? So how this is going to come? So once again, you'll have to cancel this and you'll have to come back. Cancel or else use the transaction code or else click on back button here. And yes, I want to exit. 
so once again you have to give all the details here amount and give the decimal number and then you have to give special deal indicator a also if you give a special deal indicator a then system is going to system is going to bring this amount is right 500 now if you click on simulate then look at here this is what the accounting entry is going to take place okay so with the help of this credit 1200 your invoice is going to be clear because invoice amount is already open item is there customer invoice open item is there worth up 1200 and with the, with the help of this 500 debit balance what is happening the down payment which we have posted that is also posted in the form of open item itself right so these two open item these two these two items are going to clear these two items are going to clear what i'll just do one thing here go to fbl 5n so these two items are going to be try to understand the things guys okay now i'm trying my best to explain as much as possible okay now here so look at here these two 500 and 1200 these are supposed to be cleared so this is going to be cleared by these two items right and then here hdfc bank is going to be debited with 700 because the actual payment we are going to receive is 700 itself right 700 debit and 500 debit total 1200 debit right and 1200 credit so look at here credit also 1200 and debit also 1200 there is no difference at all post this transaction control s and then come back here and if you click on list and refresh look at the magic it's gone it's gone it means whatever the open item was there that is clear so this is how what is happening guys we are going to post this uh, you have to configure this customer down payment and this is how the transactions are going to be posted so that's all in this session guys that's all in this session